The Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG Holy Ghost Arena, organized an annual outreach program aimed at helping the less privileged in their community. During one such event, they visited a school for the blind and generously donated food items to support the students. Upon interaction with the students, the church identified the need for health training and took the initiative to organize a health training program. During the training, the church provided essential materials like sanitary pads, toothbrushes, toothpaste, hair combs, sponges, and toiletries to the students. This session aimed to educate them about important health topics and provide them with valuable information to help them maintain their well-being. It is likely that the RCCG wanted to ensure the students have access to necessary health knowledge despite their visual impairment. One of the coordinator who was granted interview said that the outing by the RCCCG to the School of the Blind was characterized by their generosity as they provided gifts and food items to the students. As the health training progressed, the church noticed that the students' uniforms were in poor condition. Recognizing this need, the church decided to provide the school with brand new uniforms for all the students. A brief message was delivered to the student by one of the parish pastor. The message was centered on encouraging the student irrespective of their present situation. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy lady, and I will give you rest. Whatever situation you find yourself, if you call upon him, he will help you. The only person we can go to is who? Jesus. The gesture of the church brought immense joy and excitement to both the school and the student's guardians. So, man, this is from the Holy Ghost Parade. The parish of the Holy Ghost Parade. And we know in our CCC we have many parishes. And uh, we are glad to do it. We are really blessed. And so, for the Holy Ghost Parade, when we come to present this, yeah, we will have to make the children look the way they should be. Thank you very much. Um, so we don't call some of them, but the rest is school we do. Eh? Senior pastors and the school headmistress were present during the third visit and even granted interviews to discuss the event and its impact. An FCT school for the blind children, Jabi, school that is opened and maintained by U Universal Basic Education Board. And um, today, the um, RCCG Church, Otako branch, visited us. Wonderful. We feel wonderful because the gift they have presented to us is a gift that we will always remember their presence, their visit because it's a gift that we will always put on. It's like a garment. And because you put on the garment of Christ, you can't forget. The school uniform is like a garment for us and for the children. So we are happy that they have changed the way we should be looking. In as much as we are visually impaired, they want us to look neat and beautiful. So we are grateful for their visit. We are grateful and we pray that God Almighty will continue to bless them and increase them in Jesus' name. Okay, we came to um, deliver uniforms to the students. We had been here earlier. We initially came for uh, welfare. We came with some um, foodstuffs and some other toiletries. Then we later came back again for health talk. And this is the third time we are coming within a month to give um, the school uniforms which we sold because we noticed that um, there is need for uniform altos to support us, really with the present economic condition. So we have come to deliver to all the students both houseware and school uniform. Well, um, over the years we've been coming here because one of the schools near our church. So, and this is not the only school we have done um, welfare activities. We've been to Jabi Primary School, 
We've also been to Utaku Primary School too. So we try to reach out to as many schools as possible, but we've always been consistent coming here every year because we see that there is need, and especially for the fact that they are physically challenged. So that's why we've been coming. Well, um, uh, one is um, the fact that um, we notice in the first two instances that um, we came here is um, uh, that we know that they need some things for them to really be comfortable. I'm talking of the students now. And um, that's the reason why we keep coming here. We, the last time we were here, we noticed that they were not properly kitted and um, they need their uniforms to be changed. And that's the reason why we came here. And I can always also tell you that um, uh, the mission is also planning something um, big. We have identified a need also of our coming here again that we feel that we should be able to do for the um, school. And thank God that the assistant provincial pastor, Pastor Azudu, has um, engaged a school and um, is um, asking questions on how, where we can also be of uh, assistance to them. And I believe that very soon we'll be able to, to do something more for the school. Um, finances has always been a challenge, but to God be the goal, glory, God has always been providing. As we have it in our hearts, thank God for the um, message that was shared, um, the short exhortation, that's Jesus the body and bearer. Jesus has always been our body and bearer, and he has always been providing for us. So I will say that, yes, we might say that are challenges, but one way or the other, God has always been taking care of the situation to fulfill this kind of needs. And we are so happy doing it at all times. Overall, the RCCG Parish's annual outreach program brought much needed support and care to the School for the Blind, making a significant difference in the lives of the students and the school community. Thanks for watching. Kindly follows us on all social media platform at Access Media.